Hi, my name is Talia Kalazuns. I am a sophomore studying physics and biophysics at Penn. I'm originally from Porto Alegre, Brazil. I'm also on the fencing team and I do things related to personal finance, education, and theater. I'm excited to show you guys one day here at Penn. So I'm studying physics, but I'm in a program called Molecular Life Science Scholars. So it's very directed towards people majoring in chemistry and physics that want to go into biochemistry, biomedical sciences and things like that. So I'm looking into potentially doing physics to, for biomedical applications. I think I've always been very interested in physics and mathematics and natural sciences in general. Throughout high school, I just kind of was really interested in physics. I knew that that was something that I wanted to do. But what really got me into it was when I did a, an internship in medical physics and I found out that that was a field. So I could really see those applications of the concepts that I thought found so interesting. And that just kind of felt like my call. So for the major, it starts off with a lot of basic physics and mathematics courses. Because of my program, I'm also taking a lot of chemistry, and my concentration inside physics is chemical principles. So I take all of the introductory physics courses, all of the introductory, and basically all the pre-med requirements for chemistry. But there's also a lot of freedom uh, in the college curriculum to do things outside of just physics and STEM. So we have a lot of general education requirements and different uh, sectors and foundations. It really kind of makes you take a lot of courses in different things. So far, uh, one of some of the best classes I've taken were for college requirements. So I've taken a Russian literature class, I've taken a class on the history of crusades, and right now I'm taking two classes in Latin American studies that I think are very interesting, one in literature and one in society. And it's just really tailoring everything to my interest and taking things that otherwise I wouldn't be able to have a formal education in. I think in the college there's really a lot of collaboration and there's also a lot of emphasis on building up knowledge, not just a lot of tests, but also a lot of uh, homework in groups and a lot of papers. I think in other schools that's a little different. They have a little more emphasis on presentations or on big projects. So I think it really depends on what you're studying. So now I'm heading into my class analytical mechanics as a 300 level class of Lagrangian mechanics for physics and mathematics. So I'll see you guys in a second. So this is Locust Walk. This is the main walk on campus. It goes from east to west and kind of takes you everywhere. It's very full during rush hours. So I spent a lot of time on the fencing team. Uh, we do a lot of team bonding experiences. We hang out a lot outside just because we have this major thing in common. With theater, I've been starting to hang out more with them. They're really, uh, a really great group of people. And it's just a really, uh, a really welcoming environment that I love to be in. Yeah, but that's usually what I do on weekends and nights and sometimes just study together as well. Something that's very big here is Greek life. So. A lot of parties and events uh, surrounding sororities and frats, uh, which are also really cool. Yeah, but I usually just hang out around campus with my friends or sometimes go to Center City uh, and enjoy Philly. I think one of my favorite memories here on campus was when me and my group of close friends were most, mostly from Latin America and we don't get a lot of snow. So last year when it was snowing a lot during winter, we just all went out into the quad area, that's the freshman dorm, and we're just playing in the snow, just something in the middle of, uh, it was like the middle of the night and I think it was one of the most uh, wholesome and cool experiences I've had so far. So this is the sports complex here at Penn. Uh, it's where we have basketball, gymnastics, and fencing, which is what I do. Uh, so I've been fencing since I was nine years old, I think. Uh, I fenced in Brazil, I fenced uh, for the national team there and traveled a lot. So it was something very important when I came to college in the US that I could continue this experience. I knew a few people from Brazil that had come to the US and been recruited here, so I talked to a few people. I was able to get connected to the coach and get into the team.
So usually you have two hours practice every day, Monday through Friday, and optional practice on Saturdays uh, with a few hours of lift and private lessons throughout the week. Uh, during the spring, which is, so fencing is a winter sport, so during the season, we usually have competitions every other weekend. Yeah, so off season, no competitions, but we still practice a lot at the same times. So I think something that I've been, this is something that I've been doing all my life, just balancing uh, schoolwork and fencing, but I think here there are a lot of resources for athletes, so tutoring just in general, like, like advising and counseling for when you need it, uh, but also I think the fencing team is really supportive, and if you, have a, if you have an important midterm, sometimes you might be able to miss practice, or if you have some other commitment, uh, as long as you communicate, it's something that you can definitely work around uh, and come to practice at other time or do something else to compensate. So I think when I came to Penn, uh, it was great to have this first group of people that I already had a connection with. Uh, I knew, did know a lot of people from before coming to Penn, just because fencing is, I think, such a small sport in general. Uh, so I knew a lot of the people here and were able to like really form this group. Uh, they're people that I hang out with all the time, both when we're training but also outside, uh, just doing, doing things together, going to tea nights or having dinner together over the week or over the weekend. So it's a really great community to have and when we go to competitions it's always, uh, it's always very intense but also very fun because I'm with the people that I really like. If you like this video and want to learn more about college and college applications, please like and subscribe.